All right. Thank you to the international authorities for sharing this with me. This is a letter that's online. You guys can Google it. I put the, the link in the description below the last video. I'll put it in the, in the description below this video as well. This is a letter from Jen Ruggles, who's doing business as agent for the United States Corporation, who is um, currently in Hawaii. Okay. So she became a whistleblower as a result of some researching and some things that had come on her desk. Apparently she received some information in June, might have been similar to what the Moorish American judges were putting forth, that all these senators, these agents doing business as senators, these agents doing business as de facto governance, must stand down and stop implementing fraud laws because it's legalism and bondage, right, was what they were putting forth. Hence why last week we were subject to a corporation claiming to be pay, corporation head, um, claiming to be PayPal, who were claiming that they had new laws put in for the corporation known as PayPal. So those of us who were with them for eons, all of a sudden were expected to produce information that we never had because we don't have any business with PayPal in that regard, or much less the, the corrupt corporation known as Canada. Heads doing business, de facto agents doing business as so-called um, unlawful governance. Okay. So they give these corporation heads these rules and regulations for the people, the Moors, the heirs, to go under some jurisdiction that doesn't actually exist. I just want to read a portion of the letter here. Because corporate count, Corporation Council did not dispute the Hawaii's illegal occupation, because Hawaii, like everywhere else, is under occupation, hence why we're not allowed to have money, because we're under occupation. We had loaned them our gold. They took the gold and silver out of circulation, HDR 192, June 5th, 1933. None of us ever had a dime, okay? So when they're commanding taxes and citation tickets and fraud closures, crap, none of us have nothing which, 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 with, with which to give. The Federal Reserve, Reserve notes was started in 1913. Prior to that, we owned all lands, a lodial. Why I made the land titles on the, the, the YouTube channel publicly for all heirs more globally. And then shortly after we were given the direction to now sue properly in our proper person, the crown. Anyways, the Hawaii's legal occupation, I now have been now been put in the position of being a whistleblower. As a council member, I am a civil servant and my actions dictated by my oath of office, by my oath of office, by my oath of office. I read that three times for a reason. The Supremacy Clause in the U.S. ratified treaties, which is a 1787 Treaty of Peace and Friendship, but don't, they don't mention it here. The Hague and the Geneva Convention that specify I must ensure respect the conventions in all circumstances and advocate for the rights and protected persons. The protected persons are the Moors nationals, the original native people to Hawaii. Okay. I have held two town hall meetings since sending this letter to corporate to a corporation council, which are available for you to watch here. On August 21st, I reminded my colleagues that we are, we all took oaths swearing to support and defend the U.S. Constitution. Now, they, they took oaths to defend and support not only the U.S. Constitution, but the original Iroquois Constitution, which is the, 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 the agreement, the contract that they signed in order to do business and commerce on our lands globally. And the Constitution states that the treaties and the, are the supreme law of the land, Article 6, right? Um, until our county attorney can assure me through facts and applicable law that I am not violating my oaths of office and not incurring criminal, criminal liability, I must refrain from enacting any further legislation. I must refrain from enacting any further legislation. I must refrain from enacting any further legislation and will continue to advocate for the rights of protected persons by putting every agent of the U.S. on notice. This is a young girl. Jen Ruggles looks like she's in her 20s. Like, kudos to her for standing up, eh? Do you guys realize how serious this is? I will be eagerly awaiting Mr. Kamala, Kamala's response. I encourage you to read the letter sent to the Corporation Council yourself, which are linked above. In the meantime, in the meanwhile, to my constituents, you can be assured that I will continue to serve as liaison between the government departments to ensure your various complaints are addressed and continue to be available to you 
As always, you are welcome to contact her office number 808-961-8263. You can stay posted on all latest updates in the update tabs and by following on me on Facebook. Now, that's what needs to happen globally. All the heads here doing business as municipality heads, mayors, you name it, they need to do the exact same. You see where I'm going? Because that's where we're at now. Because it's war crimes against humanity um, and people are now standing up for their lands globally, why the Europeans were obviously upset in the beginning of this video, because they know they have potentially can be kicked off that land. It's not theirs. It doesn't belong to them. Remember when Zuckerberg went over in Hawaii and claimed that huge portion of land? I, you guys can go on his um, uh, thing videos, was the one who wrote and reminded him he doesn't own any of the lands over there. Hello. So I've been writing not only, you know, privately, but publicly a lot of these um, YouTube things that come out that's fraudulent and wrong. Anyway, this email from the Hawaiian Kingdom Acting Council of Regency, and it is informed because Hawaii is a kingdom, right? It's a more American empire. It's our, our empire. And, and when was the name Hawaii created? That's the question, right? Because it goes back to us, even though they're not mentioning us here as I'm looking for it. And it, it, and it informed us of several legal actions, including was memorandum from the United um, Nations Independent Expert Office of the High Commission for Human Rights, Dr. Alfred Desaez. In this letter, Dr. Desaez um, stated that states that he has come to understand that the lawful political status of Hawaiian Islands is that of a sovereign nation. See? Sovereign nation in continuity, but a nation state that is under a strange form of occupation by the United States resulting from the illegal military occupation. Um, this was the 1893 that they're talking about and a fraudulent, fraudulent annexation, which goes back people. All right. So when they're talking about the occupation and they're talking about the military occupation, it brings me back to the letter dated June 10th, 2014 from the agent doing business as Mr. Francis doing business Pope when he gave us all back our lands and then he dissolved all those bar licenses and he dissolved all those agents, he threw them under the bus. This goes back to that. I would like to be clear that this action on my part should be not be construed as a publicly, as a publicity stunt, but rather acting upon the advice of my attorney, given the awareness I have gained re regarding alleged war crimes. I'd like to announce that I've retained an attorney to consult, so you shouldn't have done that. Um, with Corporation Counsel on the possibility that I may be incurring criminal liability. Criminal liability. Criminal liability because they're what? Criminals, people. War crimes having to do with war crimes based on an email sent to all legislators in June. I bet you any money that came from the Moorish American Consulate and probably us. <laughs> it has been recently brought to my attention that I may be incurring criminal liability for legislation. Yes, people. That's what's going on because why? It's a different day. So Jen Ruggles stood up. Kudos to her. You need to get rid of the lawyer, though. He's going to throw you under the bus. Just telling you. Go stand in your proper person. Claim your correct nationality. Protect yourself. Now, um, all international authorities, as I've written in the past, um, emails, I'm sorry, uh, YouTube videos, I require you now to return all the lands back to the heirs moors globally, charge all the heads, sheriffs, all these agents doing business as corporate heads, you name it, senators, you name it. Um, yeah, charge them all for fraud, treason, genocide, racketeering, identity theft, defamation of character, for stealing our identities from birth and from su for subjecting us to what undue harm, slave ship, slavery under the Gregorian Pope calendar, when we use a Julian and Morris calendar, 500 years out, 13 days difference, time difference. So we're no longer in the monopoly game out of their jurisdiction. And protect this Jen Ruckles. See to it that she doesn't have a lawyer. Get rid of the attorney. And um, yeah, thank you for sharing this with me this night. So you guys go and do your due diligence. You can donate, donate, donate to us here at dwellings at gmail.com. Donate to the um, reawakening minds. They need 15000 for their building. And dear God, please donate to the judges, Sharon Tracy Gale Bay, and all the judges out there trying to protect all of you globally. Okay, as we do the very same. 
You can uh, write to us here at themullions at gmail.com for writs, affidavits, etc. Like, share, subscribe.